So uh, first up this morning, we're going to be talking about how, you know, we're going to all have a quiet holiday at home, kicking back and relaxing on the couch. But that, you know, it doesn't require fancy, sparkly clothes when we're at home. But dressing up just for a little Italy bit for an intimate, immediate family can really boost all of our holiday spirit, right? So, of course, New Day stylist Darcy Camden, she had comfortable, easy, and affordable outfit ideas for a holiday at home. And we don't need gowns or cocktail dresses, but even if we're just with our immediate family, I think sometimes putting on a special, comfortable outfit for an evening at home can make it feel special. I do like the idea of having something to make it feel a little special. And you actually have put together three outfits for this. So, okay, let's see number one. The first is for an at-home family dinner, and I have the two magic words for you, pull-on pants. These yes. are like pajama, velvet, awesome, so comfortable from Ann Taylor. I think the golden yellow color is really special and festive. I sort of have a rule that all bright colors are festive, so we don't have to do kind of the traditional colors all the time. I like something mm -hmm. fresh. They are the most comfortable pants. You could fall asleep in them right after dinner, and they stretch. I like an oversized sweater that's tucked in, like a little bit of a front tuck. I've mm -hmm. been buying my sweaters one size bigger than normal to just give them a little bit of like slouchiness. Yeah, and then like who wants to put on real shoes, but like a beautiful slipper shoe? Birdies.com has the Birdie. most comfortable slipper shoes. I love this Phoebe slide um, okay. that is just beautiful and the perfect festive house shoe. I'm loving this whole outfit, but let's see outfit number two. Yay, quick change, outfit number two. Woo. So this is a house dress. This is a tiered house dress. You might know it by another name, a moo moo. Moo moo? And this is from Target. They have about six different colorways. I liked this one because I just thought the print was so beautiful. It has pockets. It kind of feels like a nightgown, but it's really lovely. And I like that it wasn't tight on any part of my body. So super, super loose. I dress it up with a couple little hair clips, which is like my favorite accessory right now. I I'm not washing that. my hair every day. So I sort of like to have it like back and out of my face. A pack of 20 different clips on Amazon is about $10. And then a beautiful pop of color for your lip. Having a full, bold mm -hmm. lip right now feels like a lot, but I love this. Winky Lux. Stick. Winky Lux. It's clear. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. It's so good. It's clear and it's pH balanced for everyone. It looks a little bit different on everyone. You put it on and it's just the most beautiful, simple little color of pink. All right, so outfit number three. And quick change to outfit number three. This is maybe like a backyard get together, talk to the neighbors over the fence. Um, I've been sort of distancing with people here and there outside, but I get so cold. This is all about warmth and layering. I start with a flannel shirt. I shop the men's section for flannel shirts because I think they have just a better selection of colors. And I like that they are a little bit long because I usually wear them with a legging. Then another must have for the winter. This is from Uniglo and this is their down vest. That's their okay. lightweight down. It folds into just like the littlest pocket. So I carry this around in my purse all winter long because sometimes, you know, you have a coat on, but it's just not warm not enough. enough. Mm -hmm. Or I use it to make like a jean jacket or a lighter coat a little bit warmer. It's about $40 for anybody in your life who's cold all the time. This is a perfect holiday gift. That's so genius. I always layer that up. And then I found just the greatest dress coat that was like a knee length dress coat at H&M for $60, which I thought was a really nice wow. price point. And it was yeah. super soft. So it felt to me like, I don't know, like a kid's teddy bear or something. It just felt really, really cozy. And then I know everybody cares about sustainable fashion and yes. emerging, exciting new local brands. So I want to talk about the hat and the scarf is a new local brand, Gain, a local designer here, and it's alpaca, which is alpaca 
heard it here first is the new cashmere. So mm. a hat, a scarf, it's warmer than cashmere. It's luxe. It's soft. It's sustainable. It's everything everybody wants. And I think it's just like the perfect festive touch. I've never seen you dress like this. You could not be more adorable. In Port Angeles, there's a sporting goods store called Swain's. And I bought my husband a hickory shirt there. Now that's my shirt. In the women's section, I don't find a great variety. And you go to the men's section and it's like so many awesome, awesome shirts. You put a little I belt it. on it, tuck it in, a little off the shoulder, you're rocking it. I cheaper over there too. I want to point out I was wearing my Christmas sweater in the interview. I don't just wear that around. Anyway, I digress. So even before the pandemic changed the way we live, many of us were feeling overwhelmed by family work responsibilities as well as structural oppressions that weigh heavy on us. So coming up, the author of The Age of Overwhelm is going to talk to us about ways to ease our burdens and even find a greater capacity for kindness. Practical ideas we can all use. And then coming up later on the show, perfect home brewing tips from Cafe Vita. I'm finding out all about the pour over.